Welcome to Thinking Particle 6. In this video, we will talk about the new spline tools we have added to this latest release. The new spline pools are a powerful set of tools that allow you to create splines in all kinds of variations in a fully procedural way. In this example, you will see that we can grow splines and sub-branches all in one go. And the great thing is it still stays fully procedural and interactive, even in the viewport. This is because of our new set of spline tools. Splines are handled in spline pools, so you can add splines to your scene in a procedural way. So every spline becomes a particle, every knot in the spline becomes a particle. And those things can be adjusted like any other particle in thinking particles. The distinct shape we get here, a sphere, we will show you in a second how we did that. We just used a sphere as our surface follow object. So what we did here is we let the splines follow randomly across the surface of the sphere, which is actually a pretty clever and simple thing to do and creates an impressive result. As the spline grows along the surface, subsplines are automatically created. Let's have a look how we did that. Let's bring up the user interface and as you can see, we create uh, particles and this is our new spline tool. And here we decide or define how the spline will look like. The shape of the spline, the mesh, how fine, how dense it is. And this is our lead particle. So right now we have 16 particles that are created at the beginning and we have reduced it to one. As you can see, we have one lead particle now. So we have one root going around the surface and several sub branches uh, getting off this one root branch. The setup is uh, pretty uh, the same as you've seen in the other videos. And the great thing is it fully stays procedural. We now set it up to three lead particles and you will get this main three roots. And that's the beauty of thinking particles. Everything stays fully parametric and procedural, so you can adjust any value at any time. The motion is defined, the random motion we want to have as the particles crawl across the surface with the bubble motion. We have the surface follow here, and then we have the various levels, and we use our trailborn, and from every trailborn particle, we add this automatically to a spline particle, and we add the knots automatically. And this spline initialization tool here actually creates the spline and adds it to the spline pool. And we have various levels and each level creates a spline. The great thing is you can apply all kinds of textures and render it as you would do it with any other scene in 3D Studio Max. Here we see a rendering with Mosquito Render, a daylight system, easy setup, just rendered really fast in real time. The great thing is, once you have done it with a sphere, you can just swap out the mesh and it will still work. So we swapped out the sphere with a face and as you can see, the, the roots or the veins are growing now across the face. So once you've set up your effect, that's the great thing about procedural modeling or procedural effects, you just swap out the mesh, the surface, and it still works and it still will create these nice branches and sub-branches. As you can see here, we get this really nice 3D geometry. And the same thing here. It's the exact same setup we had before. We create the splines position born and we can change this number as well and we can do all the same things as well we can start rendering our effects and the great thing is because it's geometry we can apply all kinds of shapes we can do subsurface scattering we can do reflections refractions everything is working just fine because it's just geometry here we have another example of spline modeling 
that we do add another component that's the spline physics. So when we create a spline, we add also our own thinking particle six spline physics. That creates this nice effect of these bands attached to the sphere. And that's how it's done. And the same deal here, we get really nice interactive frame rates inside of the modeling viewport of 3D Studio Max. This playback is in real time in 3D Studio Max. It's pretty good. You get the collision detection with the surface of the sphere. Everything just nice. And how did we control where the bands come out of the sphere? That's another nice procedural effect in Thinking Particle 6. We can use this, uh, control this with the texture. So right now I changed the tiling to one. So we have only one spot where our 200 bands are growing out of the sphere. And you just change the texture and you see instantly it changes the look of the animation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's another cool example of one of our beta testers. You can do amazing stuff with this new spline modeling tool. Thank you for watching this video and please check out our other feature videos as well.